All right, guys, let me show you this printer here. Um, this is our second failed print. And if you can look at, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you'll see that there's like these uh, layer line skips on the head and all throughout the body of the dragon. So, all right, so this is a better picture. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you'll see like on the specific layer lines, there's like skipping all along the body of this dragon. Um, and like under extrusion. So we already changed the nozzle for this printer, but from my experience, when something like this happens, it's because the extruder gears inside of here is worn out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically take this apart and replace this extruder gear with our new extruder. All right, this is what we want, the hardened steel extruder gear assembly. So here it is, we're gonna go essentially take this off the printer and replace it with this new one. All right, so we got this printer here. We're gonna bring it over to our desk and do some maintenance on this guy. All right, these are all the tools that I really need uh, to do this repair. All right, so I'm gonna take you through how we, or how I do maintenance on a P1P printer. Um, we're gonna change out the extruder gears inside of here. So when I open it up, um, I'm gonna show you, it's probably degraded the gears that that turn onto the, uh, uh, that grab the filament is probably degraded over time. So we're gonna upgrade it to our hardened steel uh, extruder gear nozzles here. So first thing we do is um, I'm gonna clean out the uh, Z-rods here, just some uh, napkin. And you'll see how dirty this is and how dirty this gets over time, um, just like that. So. I will just clean this off with my hands and re-lubricate it. Uh, nothing too crazy, but uh, the lubricant grease that comes with the Bamboo Lab printers is included with all the P1P printers we have. Um, so the three screws, the front two, and then also there's a back screw all the way in the back that I'll clean out. Okay, so once that is cleaned off, I take the lubricant grease and I apply one pack is usually enough to do all three of the uh, Z, uh, the access rods. So I'll just take a little bit of lubricant grease, put it on my finger and just rub it up and down uh, each of the, um, the three rods. So again, I'm not using too much. Uh, like I said, one, one, one of these packs is enough to lubricate all three of them. So you don't need to put a lot onto these. All right, and that's that. Um, next up is I'll just take a microfiber cloth, just like this, and just give the printer a nice clean um, rundown. Uh, there's a lot of dust that accumulates on these printers over time. So ooh, this is a good way to just clean up the dust, uh, clean the mirror here that is, um, so you get a nice clean picture on your Bamboo ha Handy app. All right, this guy, duster. Um, Compressed air duster. I have a uh, an electric version of this. I don't know where it is. So for now, we're just going to use this. I have like four cans of this and I just do a, a light uh, spray all around the printer. All right. So now let's disassemble the extruder. So disassembling the extruder is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, there's three screws that need to be taken out. And I just lost one of the screws. All right, so there's one. Uh, one here, and obviously the printer is powered off. Uh, I'm gonna take apart all the connections here. There's another one right behind here. Probably can't see it on camera, but I'm just gonna get this disassembled so you can see. Uh, and so the final screw, what you have to do is you have to take apart the cutter uh, the cutter lever here, so you have to unscrew this little guy, which will allow you to loosen up the filament cutter. And so once that's done, just like that, you have access to the other screw that's right behind it, and then that comes right off. And that should dis disengage the extruder body. Um, be careful with this pin here because uh, this is the um, sensor, so you just want to carefully, and there we go. 
So we completely disassembled. And what I'll do is, um, just to give this guy a nice clean, is uh, I'll take some of my alcohol and just spray here. Uh, and I'm very careful with it because I don't want to uh, spray the electronic connector components. So we'll just do a nice clean there. And I will let that dry. So uh, the next part is, all right, so we're gonna just take apart this uh, extruder. Um, you, you could have taken off the nozzle before taking out the extruder. Uh, I kind of did it backwards, but it doesn't really matter. You could just take this apart now. And like I said, I'm fairly confident the issue with this printer lies in the extruder gears. Um, so we'll see. All right, so to take this apart, there's three, there's four screws, one, two, three, four, that you need to take apart. should pop open just like this. Okay, so I don't know if you can see from the pictures, but you can see that the gears right here, here and here are worn out. So let me show you what it looks, what a new one looks like. So this is the hardened steel extruder gear assembly, a uh, spare part that you buy on the Moo Labs website. And here are the two components that it comes with. So I'll put that guy there. But this is what a new one looks like um, for comparison. Uh, the top one is the new one and the bottom one is the old one. I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera. But the gears are just extremely uh, worn out on the on the old one. You kind of see how this is like a, like a little bit slanted. These are completely just worn out. So, like I said, this is probably the issue that we're having with this printer. And again, this is my experience after swapping out probably over a hundred of these extruded gears to the hardened sealed ones. Um, once it's switched over to the hard, hardened steel, you don't really get this issue that much. I mean, it, they do degrade over time. Um, they don't last forever. So uh, I always try to stock up on par spare parts, especially these uh, hardened steel extruders. So what we do is, oh, this is garbage. We'll just put it there. Um, and so the rest of the assembly, you see that there's also all this uh, machine dust or whatever you call it on here. So you're going to get that cleaned up. And so you loosen this screw right here and what this will do is this will allow you to take out the uh, the other this uh, this piece that's in here so I'll loosen it a lot and take that out and so this and this are essentially garbage so we'll throw this right in the, in the trash and what I will do is um, to clean this up uh, I'll get I'll spray this with some IPA alcohol uh, both pieces here so one and two and I'll just let it sit for like two seconds and I will uh, dry it with some paper towel and then I will blast it with the uh, compression air dust to clean out. All right, I'll just uh, take this duster and, and just spray it. Uh, I'm gonna do it over the trash can, but you get the idea. All right, so here how, here's how it looks. Looks pretty much brand new. Um, so to let's install the new pieces here put it back in there uh, first step is we'll put the uh, other lever here first it goes right in here and then you take your spring uh, make sure the other piece is uh, on one side of the spring and that piece goes where the screw is so the open screw hole or sorry the open spring hole goes right in there and this is much easier if you just loosen the screw all the way. And so once it's in, just like that, um, I go ahead and tighten it. Do not tighten this all the way. Uh, you want there to be a little bit of give here because when next step is to take your gear right here and then align it right back how you took it out. So just like that. Um, and you kind of just fit it into place. Uh, there are some 
pin holes here that you can that help you guide this into the right position. Um, but yeah, just like that. Once it's in, that's when you can go ahead and tighten the screw. So let's go ahead and tighten it all the way, just like that. And to do a check, uh, just spin the gears like this a little bit. It should free very uh, loosely and freely. There shouldn't be any give or any grab on this. So this one is perfectly fine. And that's it. That's the new extruder. Now all we got to do is put this back onto the printer and the printer should be good to go. All right, so getting this bad boy in. Oh, sorry. Um, let me uh, clean this off with some compressed air. And that nice. All right. Uh, last part, just put this back in. You pr pretty much just slide it right back into place. Uh, take your three screws that you took out and put it right back in. All right, reattach the sensor up here and the filament color cutter. Now, you could go and uh, you could go and change the filament cutter on this. Uh, mine is perfectly fine. Uh, there's very little wear and tear, so I'm not going to change it. Uh, but basically, you just slap this back into its slot. And while you're holding it, screw this guy back in so that uh, there's tension here. And don't want to over tighten it. But yeah, there you go. That's it. And now put the extruder uh, back into place. Um, also take some compressed air and just clean this out a little bit. And then you just slot this guy right back in. Yeah, I'm an idiot. There's four screws here that I didn't use to screw back the uh, the two halves of the extruder. So basically, I take this back apart. Yeah, see, forgot to put the screws back into these four slots. All right, and the last step is just to put these connector pieces back in, just like that. Um, the fan shroud here, I'll also just uh, spray it with some compressed air just to get rid of some of the dust that's on here. Woo! All right, and that's pretty much it. The last thing that I didn't do was I didn't clean out the, the rods here, so we'll, I'll just take some IPA and we'll spray this down. Spray. I'll move this way back, back and forth a couple times. And you'll see that these are just as dirty, or that these get just as dirty as the uh, other fuzzy rods. So I'll do around two or three passes of this, and then um, it should be good to go. All right. So the printer's back in its spot. And the last test that I do is I don't run a calibration, but what I'll do is I'll go into uh, the fan settings and just turn on uh, the part fan to ensure that the part fan here is working properly. Uh, sometimes when you reattach the fan plate, uh, you don't align the connection properly and then the fan doesn't turn on. And there's really no way for you to know that unless you test it or um, you watch it as it's printing. All right, so we just loaded up new filament and we just started the print and cleaned off the bill plate. So this is ready to uh, continue printing. So that is my process on how I do maintenance on the Bamboo Lab P1P printer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. By the way, this is what you do as a uh, business owner and you have employees. You know, we gotta keep this place nice and clean for them.